Uh, my English listeners, I would like to make some comments with relation to how the tafsir has been going on since from the beginning. Uh, I was shown people trying to say that whatever I am doing, I, am, I have allegiance to a political parties and some politicians which belong, to be precise, the former ruling party, which is uh, PDP. I belong to them. I'm sponsored by them to be saying things against the current government, which is an APC government. In fact, they were able even to bring a picture in which I was sitting down sandwiched between Abu Bakr Atiku on my right and the governor of Kaduna, former governor on my left. That was on occasion I was invited in uh, Sambo, Sheikh Sambo Rugatiku's mosque. He invited me, I cannot remember whether it's marriage or whatever it is. It's marriage. Marriage. I, will, I came there and when I saw these big men there, I wanted even to sit down on the ground so that I would be comfortable. They said, no, 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 sit down there. So I sit down between them. Uh, they took picture. That's all. But if there is anything, if there is anything that that picture shows, if there is anything, if I'm critical about this government, too critical about it, why is your APC governor? not sitting with us. Why is your APC big shots not sitting with us? It means you don't have connection with people. I'm not campaigning for them. That's why I felt obliged to read to you in English. The allegation is that whatever I'm saying against this present government is that I am a member of the former ruling party PDP or that I am sponsored by uh, PDP men to be saying what I am saying. It means the preaching is not reaching where it's supposed to reach. I'm preaching about reconcile, to reconcile people that are fighting. I'm teaching about brotherhood. Let's come together. Let's forget about our problems. But before I tell you to forget about problems, I have to tell you, you are oppressing your brother. You the oppressor. You are the one that I will address that you are oppressing your brother. But to show you all what you are saying is wrong. There's a paper, new Nigerian, new Nigerian newspaper. This newspaper was established in January 1st, 1966 by the Northern State Government. The motto of this paper is the greatest weapon is the truth. On paper number 14,731 on Monday, August 13, 2012, the cost of the paper is 150 naira. That corresponds to Ramadan 25th, 1433 AH in this paper, in the front page of this paper. On the front page of this paper, which is a government on paper, that is 2012, when PDP was in power. There is a caption from Uba Ibrahim Kaduna. Sheikh Gumi urges Jonathan to resign. Sheikh Gumi urges Jonathan to resign. Nigerian newspaper, government paper, when he is the head of state. What the paper said, Sheikh Ahmed Abu Bakr Gumi, the renowned Islamic scholar based in Kaduna, has urged President Goodluck Jonathan to resign his position as the president of Nigeria with immediate effect, accusing him of having much innocent blood in his hands. Gumi, who was delivering daily Ramadan tafsir at Sultan Bello Mosque on Saturday, said Jonathan Gomez cannot continue to rule with blood in his hands. He alleged that 
There are so many documents given to the president in order for him to act as, a, as regard the killings of innocent people in both mosques and churches, but he refused to do anything, revealing that an elder statement. Jonathan urges, Gumi, urges Jonathan to resign. And Jonathan is the head of PDP. So now, when I said this, who is paying me? It means, it means APC or MPP are paying me. It means, so they are corrupt like them. So we have no option. I said, why? Why I blame Jonathan with blood in his hand? Because Boko Haram, we are putting bombs everywhere and the government is not doing enough. Anybody killed under your regime, you are responsible for that blood. If you have done your best, I can say yes, Allah can forgive you. But if you are relaxed, no, Allah will not forgive you. So the same thing now. The bloodshed, the bloodshed now is more than combined together the bloodshed during Jonathan's regime. Combined together is, is more. So now you judge yourself. To be fair, our religion is a religion of fear. We are fair to ourselves. During Jonathan's time, when the blood is flowing too much, mosques and churches and streets, I said, let him resign because I could see he could not handle the blood flow. He cannot handle it. I say, please resign with immediate effect because you cannot handle the killing of innocent people. That's why I called for his resignation. And government paper and editor, everybody published that in English. Is that possible today? Now more blood is shed from negligence, from sleeping, from laziness, from I don't care. I don't care, I mean... I don't care, I mean, more efforts should have been. It's not possible people are dying. Then the president and the governors are attending wedding ceremony. That's what I mean, I don't care. There's no question for wedding ceremony. It is either, if I am true to myself, as I call for the resignation of Jonathan, if I'm true to myself, I should call for the resignation of President Buhari. And with immediate effect. And the government paper should carry it also, if there is truth. So what we are saying, this proves Jonathan, as bad as he is, he's more democratic. He has given people freedom to speak, even against him. You could see when he saw there's problem, he relinquished the power and said, I don't want blood to be. This man built for us nine universities in the Arewa, more than 150 Almajiri schools. Even this railway you are going from Kaduna to uh, Abuja, he, he has done a lot of things. But I was charging him because of the blood. Blood is the, is the most expensive thing in life. There is nothing I have not said. He should be impeached. He should resign. He is divisive. He is all, all, all upset about that. When I saw it and I was honest to myself. So I have now one of two options. If I cannot tell my own brother what I have told this man, then I should take an aeroplane from Abuja to Jonathan and say, please forgive me for castigating you in public. I either seek his apology or castigate the president too. One of the two. There is no three. We have been patient with this government. If it has been another, wallah, it will have been more than this. People are dying. 
Every day, kidnap. Yesterday we said somebody was kidnapped. People are suffering. And nobody can say it because they, they have taken our throat. They don't want to hear anything bad against the man. This is a mosque of Tawheed. Even that is enough a reason for me to show people. When people say, لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهُ وَالْمَسِيحُ بِمَرْيَمُ قُلْ فَمَنْ يَمْلِكُ مِنَ اللَّهِ شَعْنِ When people are saying, Isa is the son, is God. Allah brought in the verse to dress Isa down to show him, look, if Allah likes, he can even destroy what? Isa. When they bring somebody off, you need to bring him down to show people he's a human being. Buhari is full of mistakes. Full of mistakes. He's a human being like anybody. And I pray, I, I swear to God, there are many people here in the north that can perform better than him. Better. People are just clinging to him because they use him as a ladder, as a ladder to climb to power. And these people that are climbing to power, they are not people among us we know. They are not the people that attend our mosque. Now they are accusing those who attend the mosque as corrupt. Those who don't attend as good. So, let the government decide which one they want. For me to go to Okeka and, and, and apologize to Jonathan or to castigate them like I castigated Jonathan. Let the government decide. 